The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics is visiting jet engine facilities in Russia to explore opportunities for technology transfer for the serial production of engines for Su-30 and other Russian origin aircraft with high indigenization. IIT Kanpur has launched its metamaterial surface cloaking system, which offers multi-spectral stealth capabilities with near-perfect wave absorption across the broad spectrum. Medani Group has successfully developed the SNI-41 forged slab, which is a nickel-based precipitation hardening alloy, primarily utilized in jet engine combustion chambers. The Jora World Light Tank has arrived in Ladakh to start high-altitude trials. The DRDO is initiating collaboration with the private sector to develop locally manufactured submarine signaling devices. DRDO is working on both indigenous 120mm and 125mm smoothbore gun systems for FRCV program. Greece will transfer its Russian S-300 and Tor M1 systems to Armenia instead of Ukraine. India-Tanzania Joint Defence Cooperation Committee visited Goa Shipyard Limited and were briefed about ongoing projects and export offerings. The Indian Navy is partnering private steel manufacturers to develop indigenous arrestor wires for its aircraft carriers. Indian Army conducted joint training with the Indian Air Force in Gujarat to enhance synergy and interoperability. The Indian Army will conduct the Agni Warrior 2024 joint exercise with the Singapore Army from tomorrow. The forthcoming report of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence is expected to echo last year's recommendation for the government to consider acquiring fifth-generation fighter jets over-the-counter without losing time, as delays still plague the 114 MRFA project, and the AMCA is unlikely to enter service before 2035. Bureaucratic delays and the complex tendering process have slowed MRFA progress, raising concerns about whether the Air Force can maintain its operational edge in the interim. In a strategic move to accelerate the export of its Tejas Mark I fighter jet, Hindustan Aeronautics has extended an invitation to interested countries for a free evaluation of the aircraft. HAL is encouraging air forces from interested countries to send their pilots to India for hands-on evaluation, allowing foreign air forces to experience the aircraft first-hand. HAL is keen to demonstrate that the Tejas Mark I is a fully developed battle-ready fighter jet that is open to scrutiny from prospective buyers around the world. The Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile program is facing significant delays due to ongoing technological challenges related to scaling the air-breathing ramjet technology. While Russia initially provided some consultancy on ramjet technology, but the DRDO is now proceeding independently with the development, and it may take several more years before the missile can enter full-scale development and eventually enter production. Today's Top 3 Comments